السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وريش the last question in topic uh, two mechanics and this question um, actually it's um, uh, optional B engineering uh, physics but it's, it, it's related also to mechanic now before we solve this question let's revise a little bit the torque we know torque equal force times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force two to the rotational point. And when we choose a point, we need to choose a point so that this we call it the liver arm, liver arm. So we choose a point of rotation so the liver arm is perpendicular to that force. And we try to choose a point so we can eliminate the force that we don't want to deal with it. So let's go back to the question. So we have a letter here. I, the, the weight of the letter is 50 Newton. The length of the letter is four uh, meter and there is an angle between the ground and the letter 60 uh, degree. I need to explain why the normal force acting on the letter at the point of contact with the wall is equal to the friction force. So first, let's draw the free body diagram of the forces acting on the ladder. Since first, I have, from the middle of the ladder, I can draw the weight of the ladder, Fg, or W, and this will equal mass times free fall acceleration. If the ladder moves in this direction, opposite to this direction, I have the friction force. So let's draw this force with different color. So here I have a friction force. The ladder is touching the wall, so the wall will push the ladder in this direction. This is the reactant force or the normal force. Also, the, the uh, ladder is on the ground at this point. Okay, so there is a normal force, the ground exerted on the ladder in this direction. Here, or the reactant force. The ladder is, is at the equilibrium, is not moving, and equilibrium, from the definition of a Newton first law, equilibrium, that means all the forces acting on the object, which is the ladder, in the x direction will equal zero, and all the forces acting on the ladder in y direction or the vertical direction will equal zero. x direction is the horizontal direction, horizontal, Y direction, it means the vertical direction. That means, what are the forces acting on the ladder of the X direction? I have the normal force in the green one, and I have the friction force. They're in opposite direction, so they're equal. So Fn will equal the friction force. And here I have Fn, the red ones, equal F equals Fg, or the weight of the ladder. So we explain uh, part A of the question, section A of the question based on a Newton first law. Second part of the question, I need to calculate the uh, friction force, and he call it here F. Now first, um, I need to draw the letter first. So let's clean this one. Here I have my letter, and this is the ground. Here, the, the wall. Okay. Here I have Fg. And here we have the normal force in this direction. I'm going to take the rotational point. This one I'm going to call it point one. All the forces here that comes out from this point, they will be canceled. Okay. So I choose a rotation point so I can cancel this force, the friction, and the normal force here. I can cancel them. So the only force is that, that concerns me. It's the weight of the ladder and the normal force or the reactant force. Now from torque, summation of the torque, around point, a, uh, point 1, this will equal 0. That means... The torque in the clockwise direction will equal the torque in the counterclockwise direction. So this force will rotate 
will, will make the letter rotate around this point of rotation in this direction. So this is a clockwise direction. And this force will make the letter rotate in this direction. So this is counterclockwise direction. Force times the lever of that force or the perpendicular distance from the line of the action of the force till the point. So the first force, I have this one, perpendicular, this is the line of action of the force, okay? The perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the point one is this one. This I can call it D1. Let's call this distance D1, okay? Now the other force, let's uh, change the color. I'm gonna choose black. This is the force, so the line of the action of the force from the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force till the point, which means this one, this distance. So this distance, I can call it D, D2, okay? So Fg clockwise, Fg times D1, will equal Fn, or the normal force, times D2. Now, what is D1? This triangle here. If I take this, the distance here, this is half the distance of the ladder, which is 2 meter. This, the, this is the angle uh, between the ladder and the ground, which is 60 degree. And I need to find this distance. Now, this distance is adjacent to the angle, so I can use cosine, okay? So this will equal Fg, D1, it's 2, cosine, the angle, will equal Fn, or I can call it normal force because of the wall. So I can call it F wall, times now D2. D2, D2, by the way, is the same as this distance. This is D2. So I'm going to look at the big triangle, this one now, the big triangle. So I'll draw it here. Okay. Uh, let's delete it. This one. Okay. Draw it here. So this is... D2, and here the angle 60, and I'm going to take the, all, the whole length of the ladder, which is 4 meter. Okay, this is the total length. This actually is adjacent to the angle, so adjacent it will be sine. So here it will be 2, sine, the angle 60. Now let's substitute. So we'll have... Fg, it's 50, times 2, cosine 60, will equal F wall, or Fn, times 2, sine 60. And I can find Fn, or F wall, it will be 50, times 2, cosine 60, divided by 2, sine 60, and I can calculate this one, I should get 14.4 Newton. Now I want to find the friction force, F, okay? So the friction force, let's clear this one. Friction force F will equal mu times the normal force. Okay. The normal force between what? The ground and the wall. Mu is 0.4 and the normal force is 50. And this will give me 20 in Newton. This is the friction force between the ladder and the ground. Now what we notice? We notice that this friction force, okay, this is the ladder. So, this is the normal force, or F wall, will equal 14.4, and the friction force F 
here it's 20 in Newton. So the friction force is greater than F wall. That means the ladder, the uh, ladder wall won't, the ladder won't stop. The ladder won't stop. The ladder won't, won't slip. Won't slip because the friction force is greater than the force between the wall and the ladder. That's it. We're done with the um, we're done with the questions. Question number uh, twelve, and I want you to practice well uh, eleven and twelve uh, DP for the external exam. And good luck. Wish you all the best.